It's not just food and ice cream trucks these days, where entrepreneurs are trying their hand at putting their business on wheels. Alex McClelland started Golden Owl Books in Reno. I, uh, I was a stay-at-home mom before my son came up with this idea. He was nine at the time. I was really kind of nervous when he had the idea. Everything's so digital that I'm like, no one's gonna want to buy a bunch of books, but we'll give it a shot. It's actually been like a hugely pleasant surprise because people want physical books. They don't want to be reading on a screen all the time. Emily McPherson turned an old Volkswagen into Emmy's flower truck after she retired from Southwest Airlines. And I love Volkswagens and I found this car with the intention of having flowers in it. Oh, flowers will help. Yeah. They always help. These businesses have the same struggles as traditional brick and mortar stores. It was hard to figure out pricing was, was kind of difficult because seasonally the prices change. You have to hope that you hit the right numbers that you'll, you'll be able to buy the product for. And some that are unique. The licensing was different because they had never heard of a flower truck. A lot of the laws that they have in place pertain to food trucks specifically, not mobile businesses. So it's been kind of tricky trying to like figure out what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do because I'm not a food truck. I've had the cookbooks fall and like because they're so heavy and they just are they're coming from the very top shelf, like total covers just ripped off. And I'm like, awesome, that was a $50 book. McClelland has thought about getting a storefront but enjoys the advantage of being mobile. Like I'm not having to pay like a power bill or a water bill or anything like that. We can roam anywhere that we're invited and we meet all kinds of new people, get to know the community. I've just never felt the hometown feel like I do now. We have family that's like out in Fernley. They order everything on Amazon because they don't have a bookstore there. Being mobile, I can go to those different communities and sell books there. For more on mobile businesses, check out the Indie Matters podcast and read the full story on the NevadaIndependent.com. <laughs>